What you got, Chris? All right. The famous Prince solo where he plays Uh-oh. My Guitar Gently Weeps. Uh, don't you dare. Is not that great. You're tripping, bro. It is Damn. not that great. I saw it again because it pops up on my feed every week or two. Yeah. Like it'll just kind of float through. And I've heard that solo 15 or 20 times at this point. And every single time I hear it, I am less and less impressed by it. Especially like the part like sure it's he's got some great pentatonic ideas it's really cool Mm -hmm. but people like that solo because they think of him as a singer and they're like look he's an instrumentalist it's dope that he's an instrumentalist it's great but like taking who the person is outside of it it's just a pentatonic guitar solo like (laughs) good work prince solid all right what a fucking snobby music school <laughs> answer like 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 di- uh, dissection of that solo oh but that right. that's but a I dissection think... that's a fucking little paper cut bitch. i would say like i think that because he is a singer a lot of people look at him like oh my god he just grabbed a bass and he's i mean there are a couple of songs that i've heard like on youtube and shit like a couple videos and i'm like all right prince maybe you were doing too much that day you know yeah I mean? <laughs> But I don't know, man. I like the I like that solo. I mean, I like that one. I loved it when I first heard it. Chris, and Chris is trying to get a fucking viral video out of this right, one, bro. Here we go. That happened with a no, Dwayne Allman I'm, solo. I'm, f- oh, no, I'm feel- I just I feel it. That's yeah. just how it is. I'm gonna go back and listen to it. You know what? Because I can't say that I've heard it. Uh, I think I heard last time I heard it was like maybe a year or so ago, and I wasn't really paying that much attention. Mm. I got to go back and listen to it again. But don't don't listen to it with like joy and wonder. Listen to it with like, all right, objective. let's look at this guy's appear now. Let's see how he's play. like. And when he's going out and peeking, he's literally fretting out. Like, come on, man. All right, it's I'm, it's I'm cool. A- like I'm talking just technique and choice. Like he it's he can play. Like I'm I'm cool with it. He's a player. Well, he should fair. be known as that. Just that solo, everyone's like, this is the thing everyone should look at when they look at him as an instrumentalist. I feel you. He's he's got cooler shit as an instrumentalist. Like that solo, I'm I'm not knocking him. It's just that clip went viral and like there's cooler shit out there. Like that shouldn't be the pedestal mark of like Prince as an instrumentalist. Yeah. He's got other shit. He plays bass. He's a killing bass player. He's he's also his 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 comping chops on funk music as a guitar player I'm is saying, amazing. And he just walked out and just kind of ripped it and it was cool but it's there's not like a lot of substance to it it's okay. good it's good but it's i just think it's overrated okay okay fair. sorry boys what's Same your way. unpopular opinion aaron That's man a good one, Chris. good one i had a couple but the one that sticks to me because you i guess just because you said prince and purple yeah <laughs> it's <was> random <laughs> it's random i don't think that they should play peanut butter jelly time like in schools anymore <laughs> okay why because i just heard the most random shit on what the actual song is about what's it about and apparently it's about uh <laughs> I, I, anal <laughs> yeah <laughs> and so i was just like i'm dude n- no bullshit i'm sitting at i'm at home one day Kids are all on Alexa and shit. And it's like, play peanut butter jelly time. And we're singing a song and we're singing it, whatever. L- like, not an hour after that, like, I'm scrolling through something and they're talking about, like, in the comments about what the actual song is, the peanut butter jelly time. And it's, just, or like, what it's about. And I'm like, what is it about at this point? You know what I mean? Peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. <laughs> what, what does that even mean? It's just catchy, right? It's, it's like that stepbrother scene. It's like, it's provocative it gets the people going like okay well what it's about what is it about for real you know and then i'm seeing more and more about that being what it's about and i'm just like yeah dog come on now that's kind of that's kind of messed up yeah like i've been singing this for so long and like all my like <laughs> kids, kids are singing this yeah. shit like <laughs> is this what it's about Cause he needs to come and come forth and and talk about what was the reason behind writing this song could you imagine how much income they would lose if they stopped playing it in schools i mean you know what i'm saying because like i was just my, my daughter says oh they played that song and i you know i'm not gonna tell her what the damn song is about or anything it's just like hmm that's nice that's yeah. nice <laughs> i'm writing the school a note yeah <laughs> like is there a reason why you're playing these songs at lunchtime or like whatever like it's just i don't know i just that's 
it's something I'm trying to figure out for myself, I guess. So here's here's um, not I don't even want to call it pushback because I don't have any skin in the game. I don't have any kids. <laughs> so like, but that being said, if the kids don't know what it's about, does True. it make a difference? Especially if there's nothing explicitly stating. There are so many songs like that that are like you know but it's just like that one's like the most catchy one it is very catchy it's such a good song even if it's what that's it about like, yeah yeah it is what it is it's just like maybe not at schools anymore i don't know and i i can say <laughs> i've never heard that before really i'm in my 30s and i would have never guessed that that's what that song was Dude, about maybe it's just the weird people that are no, on my are you on the instagram fucking, and facebook no pages. the internet's pretty much confirming that is it oh, really like, see every link here is like yeah it's anal of course yeah, <laughs> and, and i'm just like this isn't just like on urban dictionary yeah. oh, <laughs> it's peanut not, butter jelly time that's the first this link, is what but, it is yeah it's the rest of them are backing it up see dude and I don't even like. I don't even yeah, like, look I this up. One I just, Google peanut butter like jelly one time meaning comment thread, and you're reading all this stuff that people are saying about the song, and I'm like, who the fuck? Fun fact: How do you know this? Yeah, <laughs> the genre on here is booty house. Booty <laughs> house genre. Okay, peanut butter jelly time is a booty house song produced what? by DJ Chipman. Okay, what else falls under the booty house genre? That's a fantastic question. What the <laughs> fuck does that style of music mean? What does it? Booty house. I mean, that's house music. Oh, it's you know like a saying? version of house music. I guess. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. There, there's a whole 40 minute playlist on YouTube. I'll send you called Booty House Anthems. Fucking let's let's put it let, let's put send it. Send me the playlist. The, the description. Too. Put the description in the link for these guys. Link in the bio. <laughs> link. Yeah. It's also known as <laughs> it's also known as Ghetto House. Ghetto House. Uh, I mean, a, there's a whole Wikipedia page. Let's. Booty Asshole. House sounds about right. We though. got, yeah, we got any artists that we can just start rattling off real quick? Um, DJ Dion, Jam and Gerald, DJ Funk, DJ Milton, DJ Sluggo, Waxmaster, Tracksman, Paris Mitchell. Those Wax are Master. Those are the guys that come to mind. That's apparently. interesting. Okay, got it. There you go. The more you know, kids. Yeah, dude, that's funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, Booty House. <laughs> we start uh Put that playlist on later tonight. It'd be fun. <laughs> right. Um, that's a good one, bro. Let me go ahead and down that now for my uh, old lady. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So my unpopular opinion this week is something that bothers me. Um, I don't, I want to preface this because I'm not casting judgment on people who do it. I get that we're not all musicians. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But when, when I tell people that I'm a musician and they say, oh, that's awesome. I love music. I'm like, yeah. Do you like food? Also, <laughs> do you like? Yeah. Do you like see, sleep? that would throw me off. I, and I have a hard time like keeping a straight face <laughs> yeah. when people say st stuff like that. Like it's the same. Yeah, yeah. That would throw me <laughs> off. It's just like well, and I get that they're trying to relate to you on some level. And I love I, I, music. Yeah, it's like that's, oh. well, that they, they can't now anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they just, <laughs> I love. Like, do you? Okay. It's like, do you like air? Also, right. is air like a, like a thing that you like? Or it's just it's 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 such a general thing to say, and I don't know what to how to say. Oh, I'm glad you like music. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's I I get that on a different spectrum. Like um, when I tell people where I'm from, when I say I'm from uh, Illinois, they go, "Oh, I love Chicago," yeah. and I'm like, "That's not where I'm from." Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. I'm glad you. I'm glad you love Chicago. That's like the only. Yeah, it's like saying that you're from New York and like, oh, I love Manhattan or Brooklyn. It's like, I'm um, from upstate. So. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, there's so many other places. Yeah. In Illinois, but yeah, like music though. That's just like, they probably don't listen to music. That's what I'm saying. All, yeah. That's that's the thing that people say when their depth of knowledge is what's on the radio. Zero. You yeah, know. They know nothing. And, and it's but it, those people probably don't listen to music at all. They like just sit on their freaking mm -hmm. porch with a just i don't know yeah like a, a book and they listen to podcasts and podcasts with suckers <laughs> yeah i mean uh, <laughs> my mom's in that category bless her heart like she only l turns on the radio she couldn't tell you one artist i'm like who's your some of your favorite music she goes i don't know what kind of answer is i don't know to who's your favorite musician look yeah. it, here's the thing okay I, again i want i need to preface this by saying i'm not judging people who say that okay yeah, if totally. you don't if music is not something that like you're super into i don't expect anyone else to be as into it as i am that would be fucking crazy right, right? that being said do you like is there like an artist that maybe you want to like spout out or maybe like there's a genre like right. oh like i love 
what kind of music do you play? Oh, I love like rock and roll or I love like blues or something. Right. But like, to say that you just love me, I don't know where to go with that. Yeah. It's like, okay, cool. The conversation is over with. Right? <laughs> yeah. Like, like, there's no reason for you to have to go into, you know, any search. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For them to just base. Like if they were to just say, you know, oh, I, I used to play the flute or something. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, we can, so, we can go, go with somewhere that. with that. Yeah, something. yeah. The only only answer is thank God when someone says you like music. Good, Christ, yeah. you got a pulse. Yeah, yeah exactly. Good. <laughs> I've also met people who tell me that they don't like music. Or no, okay, here's that here's, leads to a better conversation. Yeah, it sure does. I have <laughs> some family members that are older, but they don't list. They don't any. They don't want noise. They just like silence i get that too i i'm 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 a, I'm a big ride home after a gig in silence kind of guy Same. but here i did have someone it was like the most backhanded compliment i've ever gotten after a gig and we had played like that oyster fest thing what was that it used to be back like oh i know years ago yeah i know what you're, what you're talking about we played it and it wasn't a good show we kind of like train wrecked it to be honest but Is that the one like in fernandina or something like no that? it no, was at, near the stadium i remember that show yeah it was oh. like Oh yeah, you were there. Uh huh. I saw that one. Yeah, we didn't do very well. Um, it was great. <laughs> and this lady comes up to me and she was like, "Yeah, I'm not really like a fan of music, but I really liked you guys." <laughs> All right, so you don't like music, but you like what we did. So yeah. I guess <laughs> no. She's looking at you in a different way. Yeah, totally. She's just like. I like you. No, okay. <laughs> and I want you. I, yeah. The way that I took it was like, was like you have the way that I took it is like you have zero standard. You don't like music at all, but you liked what we did, which right. means it must have been so like not music that you actually liked it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, sometimes you just you just have to look at people and, that say things like that and just be like, I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, totally. I'm really happy that you came here. So, yeah, if you don't like music, you came to a music festival. I'm really yeah, glad you're really. here. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>